Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to install WAMP server and set up multiple virtual hosts on your personal computer in a WAMP server environment. So there's only three key files we need to edit to fully set up a multiple dynamic website environment on your personal computer. The first thing we got to do is go to WAMPserver.com and we're going to download the correct version of WAMP server, which would be for me 64 bit. And I'm going to go to direct download, click there. Okay, I'm going to save this to, oh, look at this, I already got a couple in there. I'm going to save it to my downloads. Actually, I'm going to save it to my desktop and save it there. Okay, so that's done. So let's minimize. Let's go ahead and open up WAMP server. And we're going to click next. This is a very basic installation. Accept. Next. And I'm going to install mine on the C drive, the root of my C drive. Click next. There it exists. Because I had one in there previously, but say yes. For me, say yes, right? And click next, create a desktop icon, click next, install. This may take a few minutes, but I'm going to skip ahead. Okay, so here we are. And it's, WAMP server wants us to select a default browser. I'm going to choose a different browser. I prefer to use Google Chrome. And I'm going to say yes. That's to my previous installation. I'm going to just say next for this. And we're going to launch WAMP server. Okay, great. So in the lower right hand side, you see we have a little green. WAMP server icon says offline. No worries, just go up to localhost, and there we are. And as you can see, I have a few projects already in here. Now, if we click on these projects, this is my test web page. This is an HTML page, by the way. You don't need to have a web server environment to run that, so uh, disregard that. Um, Buggy is actually a PHP document. Macy's is also a PHP document, and Oz Gaming is a WordPress site. So let's go, the first thing we want to do is we want to go down to WAMP server, left click on it, and then navigate to Apache, go to httpd.conf, hypertext transfer protocol daemon.configure. So that's what that means. Daemon is just a service that's running in the background waiting for you to tell it to do something. So let's click on that. And if your uh, text editor that opens up looks like this, don't get nervous. Make sure your cursor is active in there. Hit Control F, as in Frank, and type in virtual space hosts and then hit enter. You can cancel that. You'll see here it says virtual hosts and then include. There's a little pound symbol right before include conf extra httpd vhost.conf. Let's remove that and add that space back there. And just go ahead and click file, save, or control S. And let's close it up. Next thing we want to do is we want to edit our virtual uh, our httpd-vhosts.conf. So the way we do that is we go to my computer and go to the C drive, WAMP bin 
Apache, Apache version, and you'll see conf right there. Go to conf, and then go to extra. And then go down to httpd-vhost.conf. Double click on that, or right click and open with your favorite text editor. And in here, we have some examples. So as you saw over here, I got four projects. So if we go into Windows Explorer again, and if I go to File, New to open up a new window, I'll go back to my C drive, WAMP, my www directory, which is where you house, house all of your projects or quote unquote websites. So we have one, two, three, four. And this one here is not dynamic, it's HTML. So this one here is PHP. And Macy's is PHP. And then Oz Gaming is a WordPress blog. Okay, so let's minimize that. And we already have vhosts open. We can see up the very top here we have vhosts open. So let's configure four virtual host containers. So I'm going to copy and paste. It's much faster. We need four of these. Actually, we need five, and I'll explain why. I'm going to show you guys something just to keep it clean. All right. Get rid of these. You don't need them. Well, it depends. It depends. Um, in this uh, tutorial, we're not going to need them. So, this is going to be localhost. And this is going to point to our local host directory. And put a little forward slash at the end there. Okay, so actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, copy it, paste it, over there and do the same thing with these. So there's our projects. The first one should always be localhost. For some reason, it just seems to cause less conflicts. And let's go to there. We'll go to the next container and we'll put Anthony Marchese and and all you're doing really is you're copy and pasting each container right there. Oz Gaming, if you're curious, is a community that I created about five years ago. Okay, so that's done. All right, see the way this looks? This is all you need, and they will work. So let's go to File, Save. Let's just minimize that. The last thing we have to do, and it's very important, we have to go to our host file. Windows, the system has to know what we're trying to do. So we do Windows S, and we type in notepad and we right click and we run as administrator file open the root of C Windows system 32 drivers etc and the reason why we don't see anything in here is because it's filtering everything out except txt files so we want to see all the files and there's the host file and let's double click it and 
and I've actually got them in here already. You can put them up top, you can put them at the bottom. Um, I'm just going to uncomment these, remove the hash symbol. Okay, everything will work after we do this, you'll see. And this will actually bring us to the directory, but probably going to have to create a database in PHP my admin. So let's go ahead and save this. Save. Now, if we didn't open this up as administrator, we wouldn't be able to save. Let's close that. And let's go and restart services. Okay, it's green. Let's go up to localhost. Okay, let's go to buggy. And there we go. PHP document is displaying. And Macy's. And there we go. And we'll go to Ozgaming. Up oh, error establishing a database connection. So the way you fix that error, you go to your PHP my admin. And we have Oz Gaming here. And let's see here. Let's go back home. And we got users and root local host. Let's go into Oz Gaming and let's go to our WP config file. Database name is Oz Gaming. That's good. Root is the username and the password I have here is admin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that password. You wouldn't want to do this if you were online. And this is you know locally so no worries. Um, and I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back to PHP my admin and I'm going to edit the privileges for root local host because that's what this is. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go, I'm going to go right oops, go right here and we're going to go no password and we're going to save it by hitting go. Okay now if we go back to our browser whoops we're already there database error let's hit refresh Okay, so here we are, and let's go ahead and install WordPress. And um, let's just say Ozgaming TF2, username is root, like always. And this will be Ozgaming.net at Gmail, and we'll uncheck that and click install. Okay, password is this. Note that password carefully. You know what? They made one for us, so. Let's go ahead and copy that. And root. And we'll paste that password in. Remember me? Login. Cool. Sure. Let's take a look at the home page. Looks like everything worked out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.